Let f of x equal e to the 2x minus 2x minus 2. Show that the equation f of x is equal to 0 has a root between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Taking your first approximation to the root as x is equal to 1, use the newton raphson method to find three further approximations to the root. Show that your final approximation is accurate to two decimal places. Okay, so we've got f of x is e to the 2x minus 2x minus 2. So in order to find that there's a root between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1, we need to substitute these two values into this function. And if there's a change of sign, and as the function is continuous, then there will be a root between these two values. So if we do f of 0, that's e to the 2 times 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 2. This becomes e to the 0, which is 1 minus 0 minus 2. 1 minus 2 gives me minus 1. The second one perhaps we need to do on the calculator, because that's going to give me e to the 2 times 1 minus 2 times 1 minus 2. That gives me e squared minus 4, which gives me an answer of 3.38. Eight, nine. So this changes from negative to positive, and therefore, since it does so that, since one value is, ne is negative and the other is positive, a root must lie between x is 0 and x is equal to 1. Let's just note what we have to say there. Change of sign, function continuous, therefore, there must be a root. Right, so now in part B we're going to now use the newton raphson method. So f of x is e to the 2x minus 2x minus 2. So f dash of x, we'll need to do that. So if you differentiate this, it becomes 2e to the 2x. Differentiate 2x, you get minus 2. You differentiate minus 2, you get 0. So you do need to know how to differentiate to use this method. And using the newton raphson method... then x to the n plus 1 is equal to x to the n minus f of x n over f dashed of x n. So we substitute the values in. So x to the n plus 1 in our case will be x to the n. Then we now write e to the 2x to the n minus 2x to the n. Make sure these are subscript minus 2. And then underneath we write the derivative 2e to the 2x n minus 2. And then we take x0 is equal to 1. Now, you can do this probably on any calculator, but if you... Let's just use the ti here, but you can probably do it on your calculator as well. If we uh, put in here... Uh, sorry, put in 1, our starting value, and now write in 1... Um, sorry, instead of 1, write in the answer, control answer. So that's x0 minus... We have to introduce some brackets. So our function was e to the 2 times the answer. So the answer standing for x here. Minus 2 times the answer minus 2 over, and again put brackets in, 2 times e, sorry, not log, let's get rid of that, so, sorry, control, oh, sorry, it's not control, it's e, sorry, e to the 2 times the answer, minus 2, that's, that's the derivative, and press enter that will give us the first iteration if we press enter again we will get the second iteration and if we press enter again we will get the third iteration so that's a quick way of doing it this sort of works on most calculators if you're using answers so going back to this we now need to write down each of these answers carefully so write down the full calculator value you've got 0 0.7347 x2, the full calculator value, don't forget the three dots because we will carry on, and x3 is 0 0.574028. Okay, so the last part asks us whether if it's um, f of x is equal to uh, 0 0.57, if this will 
be an accurate to two decimal places. So our, our value for two decimal places will be 0 0.57. So the lower bound for 0 0.57 is 0 0.65. So if we find f of 0 0.565, put that into here, and we we get that it here it is minus 0 0.343. So it's very similar to what we did at the beginning. And then take the upper, that's less than zero, it's negative. And then take the upper bound, which is 0 0.575, and put it into our function here. And that comes out to be positive. Therefore, we have a change of sign, and the function is continuous. So since one value is negative and the other is positive, and the function is continuous, then the root must lie between x is equal to 0 0.565 and 0 0.575. Therefore, x is equal to 0 0.57 to two decimal places will be uh, OK for our approximation if we want it to two decimal places. OK, so this has been a video to show you how to use the Newton-Ratzel method. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.